the, the friggin' sounds are actually pretty legit, man. Like, what happens if we just shoot at the train? I guess it's totally normal. No big deal. Can you, like, get hit by the... Oh! Okay, greetings, comrade. We're gonna play Trans-Siberian Train Simulator for my glorious benefit of motherland. Um, Playway SA hooked a brother up with a key, so we're gonna check it out. Um, played the prologue, played the demo. It was interesting, but, you know, is it gonna be like one of those one-trick ponies? You do it once and you're done? Or is there some sort of playability? So let's get started. I kind of want to try... I kind of want to do it all just because it's funny. You know, zany. You got both. Um, survival elements, manage locomotive, complete transportation job, complete missions for the mafia. Play with survival elements, manage locomotive, complete transportation jobs. Play without survival elements, manage locomotive. Wait a minute. They added a new one. It used to just be two options. So survival. Let's do story. No, I don't think we do. We'll just run through it. We'll get the food. We'll kill the mafia dudes. Um, Cause I don't remember how to play this at all. Not one bit. If it's any different. Hey, Graham. What's up, man? All right. So it largely looks uh, the same. I like it. I like it. Okay. So we, yeah. So it's like the same deal. Let me check the settings real quick here, though. Um, so I got uh, music turned down for the typical DMCA bullshit. Um, uh, mouse sensitivity, we'll crank that a bit. Crank it. Crank that hog up to four. Um, yeah, so that's good. Uh, video and graphics. Borderless window on VSync. Dynamic resolution, yet. 60 res field view 90. Yeah, so it looks all pretty much the same. Cinematic epic. Epic. Yeah, we're good. All right, let's go buy our stuff. Let's kill the mafia dudes and uh, start driving some train. Train. I'm doing good. What's going on with you, Graham? BT Dud, this may appear on the YouTubes. All right, so we got a thousand. We're definitely buying some beers. Hey, bro. Greetings. Greetings. Um, yeah, this is talking thing. Like, I've heard all this before, unless they changed something. I don't think they changed anything. Because there was a prologue, and then a demo, and then I think, like... Okay. Cool. Very cool. Um, lower left corner, status of your money. Yep. Okay. Lower right corner, temperature. Yep. Top left corner, stats. Yep. Uh, stats, maximum level, result in death. Okay. So, dude is a bona fide alky. He be needing that alcohol. All right, pay special attention to the appropriate level of alcohol. <laughs> okay, come on, let me buy it. Let me buy it. I want to buy beer. Eat to buy. One, two, three, a four, five, a six. We'll buy six. Hello, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. About six of each. We got a little bit of money, right? I don't know why we'd need like two flashlights, so I will be buying that some bitch. Thank you, sir. How's your mother? Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, that's his glasses. When he looked up and his glasses did a thing, it looked uh, a bit scary. Uh, what are these? Cabbages? Red cabbages? We will buy them all. Thank you. These Granny Smith green apples are not green. We'll just buy them all. 
Like, what do you need money for? Milk? Milk? I want the vodka. Where is the vodka? We'll buy the cabbage. The broccoli. I love to eat raw broccoli. And I'm freezing to death. Siberia. It's, uh... It's just a really fun thing to do. We buy onion. Love eating raw onions, too, boy. Choo! Okay. Knife. I think we just need one. Unless we murder someone and we gotta get rid of the evidence. We'll buy two. We'll buy, we'll buy it back up. Bread. Bread. We'll buy it all. Alright, so we're down to like 800 bucks now. Is that everything? Everybody, everything? Just run around with a chainsaw. We are definitely gonna go kill the mafia dudes, as per usual with the uh, demo. Graham says, Hi YouTube, like, subscribe, ETC. <laughs> I never ask of that. I never ask of it. Well, I look at it, man. Like, people want to like, subscribe, and all that. They'll do it. Because I know when I'm watching a video and someone asks to do it, and it's like within the opening moments, the last thing I'm going to do What's is that? that. Hey, what the? What did you just say? You got a problem? You got a problem? Huh? That's what I thought. Sound like he was talking shit. That dude's mafia. Look at him. For real. You could just tell he had that, uh, and that look about him. Let's get our let's get our swerve on a little bit here. Zipping on some scissor. Zipping on some. All right. Uh, how do we get rid of it? Not like that. There we go. What's this? Celery. We just found food. We didn't need to buy that crap. What else is in here? Whoa. I just noticed you were there, sir. Mind if I steal your uh, grapefruit? You okay there, bud? Now it's Vidanya. Alright, so the dudes are downstairs. So I'm curious. Every time I've done this, I've kilted these mofos. I kilted them hard. But for the sake of... I feel like an alien is speaking to me. Like, the voice is weird. Like, do we just... unalive them again? And just take it? Or do we buy it? Because, like, you know, I'm just curious how the game's gonna play out if we just murder these dudes. They do have very murderous faces. Or murder me faces. I mean, that's 10 bucks. 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80. That's 80 bucks. Kalashnikov. Three hundred dollars. Kalashi ammo. Oh, that's right. So one of these dudes has got a pistol. We'll just buy it this time. It's only sixty degrees right now in Siberia. I find that hard to believe. We will buy it. We'll do this uh, somewhat legit way, I guess. Should I just? Because we got these. Uh, what's that? Nine mil, forty-five. TT thirty three. I don't even know what the hell that is. Okay, gentlemen. Good day. All right. Let's get out of here. So we did that. We did the shot. There's the drunk bastard. He called up to us. Let's run straight across twenty eight railroad tracks because that is OSHA's wet dream. Okay. Yeah. It's a lovely bumper there isn't it buddy don't mind me and I'm curious how long this is I, f I feel like the entire route is pretty lengthy let's say I read that alright so we gotta do a little repair we're gonna hook up to our shizzle but I kinda remember it's still telling me to open press I to manage large items okay so we probably want uh, we got beer for sure sprats flashlight We'll put uh we'll put the apple there since we got 17 of them bitches. I think all that's good for now. 
see my chat straight away. It's usually a 10 minute delay. Maybe Twitch is being kind today. Uh, some places you can buy weapons for hunting and self defense. Already done. All right, enter the cabin. E to open. In cabin. There we go. Close or open the door, actually. What's that? Oh, manual. I think that's new. Yeah, I'm not not going to remember any of that. It's more like a panic mode look at kind of reference. Oh, we're in there, dudes. We are in there, dudes. Okay, okay, okay. Um, break. Wagons are connected, okay. An hour? Top left corner information about how much time you have to complete the job. 59 minutes. Next step, apply the brake, which is used to brake the train. So we got to air this puppy up. Okay, complete previous steps. Okay, set the handle to main brake handle service braking one. Get them needles up. I'm getting thirsty. Very gentle pressure drops very slowly. Okay, yeah. Cause that's gotta be something, man. Like places with very cold climates and air, obviously, or you know, not a. A very copacetic couple of things that work well together. Air and cold. Cold and air. So we're just charging up. Got us this one key, two key, three key, four key. Dr. Seuss Gaming. <laughs> Gramps. <laughs> it, should, it, should, it should be episodic, huh, Graham? Graham says, join us next time. We'll continue to roll back for two days. <laughs> That's what's weird about it, though. It's like you can't... I don't know, like the... You know, changing cameras and stuff and, and the way you control the train. All right, are we good? Breaking with service breaking, harder, pressure drops faster, refill more often. Okay, I keep forgetting to hit, hit F. I just sit there. Okay. Okay. Train has stopped. That is correct. Deliver the railway wagons to Novosibirsk. Gravny. Okay. Prepare the brakes again. Main brake handle to service. Selector. M for driving. All right, here we go. Some bitches got some weight on it now. If you apply too much power, the white light on the right panel will appear and the locomotive will not be able to speed up. You have to reduce power. Obey railroad signals, prevent your locomotive from getting damaged. So I, I what did I, I don't even remember what I selected. Is this survival mode? Okay, I'll also use the book for a manual, which is over there. Uh-huh. Press X to sit down. There we go. You have to continue. Hiding small inventory, you can use mouse wheel to operate locomotive control elements. What? Over the window, press E to lean out. Okay. And... So how do I get rid of... How do I get rid of the inventory? Well, no, I'll put the flashlight down, bro. There we go. How do you get... Whatever. We got we got places to be. Come on. Shut the window. Shut it. All right, here we go. Oh, a little, little too spicy. I think we're moving slightly. That compressor's still pumping, though, man. Isn't it? It sounds like a compressor, yeah? Nineteen ninety-one dissolution of the USSR. Dog camera! Yeah, just singular today. That is... 
That is Abby. Um, Doak is at work with his mama. He gave me the day off from Crazy Boy. Thank God. Comrade Shunsky. Hello, Comrade Kojo. Greetings. What's going on, Coach? All right, we moving. I am mature. All right, we rolling, 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 rolling. Now, does it? So there's? Is there no like map? Um, there's no like UI thing to show you where you're going. Um. Oh wait, top right. We're going to Novosibirskavni, so that's 8.6 kilometers. Is that like four miles, five miles? And it's giving us an hour to do that. Chillest job ever, dude. All right, we gotta, we gotta get our drink on. We will put that there. We'll have some milk. Oh yes. Oh, la, 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 Oh, delicious. Delicious. Okay, so we're good there. Hunger. We'll go ahead and eat a, eat an apple. The red Granny Smith apple. We'll go ahead and just do another one. There we go. And that's going. All right, let's roll, baby. So it said greens were 60, yellows were 40, and then yellow and red means you better have this thing slowed down. Essentially. It looks cold. We don't have headlights on. It's got some some fairly decent rolling sounds for like a train sim, even though I I don't think it's trying to be super simmy, you know. Um, it just doesn't have any kind of that like crunching sound, you know, or anything like that. Sounds like the compressor, or is that the beer cooler motor? <laughs> yeah. It's the mini fridge in the back. All right, we're doing 20. That's a blinky. Two blinkies. See you later, comrade. All right, we got a green on the in-cab signaling. So where are the headlights in this sun, bitch? It, I'm surprised it doesn't mention anything about headlights. I don't like I guess maybe they don't matter or something uh, That's not helpful What's that? Where are the headlights? All right, we're doing 25 30. I know if this is anything like the prologue I know we got to stop up here kind of like a little sneaky train coming at you across the bridge Let's throw that some bitch in uh, in neutral. Uh, heating, right cabin, dip cabin, handle seating, projector light, left buffer light, right buffer light. Okay, so are they red or oh buffer color? How do you know which is which? Ah! Okay, that's close. Let's see what our light sitch looks like. Okay, so those are all. What is this? What's this big chonker? The chunkus among us. What is this sucker right here? What is this? Projector light? Is that it? That's got to be it. And what is measurement apparatus elimination? <laughs> How about gauge lights? I think gauge lights would have worked there. 
In a moment, you'll need to lower the pantographs. Lowering pantographs typically used in areas where overhead lines are present, such as electrified railways, where the sections of the track where the overhead lines are not energized. And... Okay. Is it gonna, like, be super chill about it and tell me where those switches are, or...? We got some, uh, some sort of aggregate hoppers. Alright, we're moving. Soup or simmy. <laughs> Super simmy. Uh, board on the left, the lights. Oh, oh, a neutral section. Ooh, a neutral section. What's up, box? In cab signaling. What just happened? Why'd everything go like blue? So, we are going pretty slow for those of the keen eyed of you. It comes train. I just totally threatened that person with my chainsaw. Probably didn't even see me. Alright, that is... Is that green? It almost looks yellow. Prepare to lower pantograph. How you doing? Did I do it? I did it. I did it. Congratulations, comrade. You lowered pantograph. Okay, so there's a signage. Lower the pantograph. They be lowered. Okay, so I think it was telling me a moment ago that there will always be little, like, indicators at the top of the screen. So, this is a neutral section. Yeah, we're going so slow. Lights changed on the dash. Oh, all these? Yeah. I think it's just saying we're not... We're gonna have to, like, reset some stuff here. Okay, so there's the vertical up and down. So, raise the pantos. Boom, boom. Okay. BB1 needs to be reset. KBB needs to be reset. Now, I saw the field generator deal, right? But over here it says field generator unavailable. Reset the engines, okay. And how do we do this, comrade, tutorial, speaker, man, guy, dude? Are we good? I just did something because there's a whole lot of noise going on back there now. Okay, I think we have power now. So this is a field generator. I don't understand that. It says unavailable, but when I turned it on, the light went out. I mean, that's like an integral part of traction motor isms, right? All right, so we got a signal down here. Yeah, so it's that. When I turned that on, it made like the high fan noise behind us. 
Listen carefully, it's time to take a first assignment. Our position is threatened by rival groups. We must show them that we will go as far as needed and use drastic measures to defend our interests. Okay. So let's blow some stuff up. Yeah, I don't get how this can even be operable with the field gen off. All right, so yes, we're still going slow as hell, but we have got a light up there that is... I think it turns into single track because... Uh, it's... there's a bridge up there. And I can't tell, is that yellow or red? That's not right, that's not our signal. Right? Yeah, I keep forgetting to look on the damn in cab signal and deal. Yeah, so there here comes that train. I remember this from the prologue. And are there saves? Like can you save? Okay, cool. I should probably do that. I don't know if there's auto saves or not. We can go to there, right? It's just a yellow. Okay, now, now it's changed. So yeah, it's that next one that's um, no dice, I believe. So one of the biggest kind of unbelievable things about this all is, is the tracks. I mean, just look how sharp some of the track work is, namely the track in the middle, how it's kind of everything's like real up and down really soon. Like it'd be really difficult for trains to operate on shit like that. I mean, if they'd have just kept the land a bit more flat, you know, or stretched out the undulations in the hills and all that. I mean, look at that middle track, man. Jesus. It's like something from the 1800s. So if they'd have just kind of stretched it out, made it a bit more flat, like the, the visual aspect would have looked a lot more realistic. We are going so slow. I just don't know what this son bitch can handle. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, balls. What happened? That, that white light came on. Alright, I just check. We got power. Okay, I see. I think I see the bridge. I know it goes to single track up here. Unless they change that, I don't believe they did. <laughs> Currently 65 degrees. Let's test. Oh shit, no. Let's actually stop the train. Let's test the theory of the uh, the cold thing. So it's 65 in here now, right? I'll open the window. The temperature definitely do be dropping. <laughs> it's like really quick. 62, 61. Are we gonna stop in time? But you know, to be honest, some of these physics like coming from actual sim based games where there are actual physics. Like, this honestly doesn't feel too bad. You know, I just got it in the first position. And it's, uh, you know, it's gradual. Okay, there is a train coming. Yeah, that's 54. It's dropped 10 degrees in here with a window open. It's still dropping. So, yeah, it's probably not... Probably not the best idea. To leave that open. Get, get in the there we go close the door or the window 
Alright, we gotta break on. Let's go out and greet our comrade. Greet the comrade coming across the bridge. Is he coming or what? I don't know if that sucker's moving or not. Look at this beast. Oh, it's a Bobo. I thought they were Coco. I'm in love with the Coco. Yeah, they're Bobos. I thought they were Coco. Alright. Uh, let's have a beer. Let's have a beer. I don't have too many. I've actually got to chill out with that. I probably should have bought a lot more beer. Now we're just going to press keys. Does rail driver work? Really? It does? I didn't even think about that, to be honest. Maybe it's the deal where you got to plug it in for it to, you know, recognize it. Okay. Okay. The, the friggin' sounds are actually pretty legit, man. Like, what happens if we just shoot at the train? I guess it's totally normal. No big deal. Can you like get hit by the... Oh! Oh my. Did... All right. Uh, let's have a beer. Let's have a bar. I don't have too many. I've actually got to chill out with that. I probably should have bought a lot more beer. Now we're just going to press keys. Does rail driver work? Really? It does? I didn't even think about that, to be honest. Maybe it's the deal where you gotta plug it in for it to, you know, recognize it. Okay. Okay. The friggin' sounds are actually pretty legit, man. Like, what happens if we just shoot at the train? I guess it's totally normal. No big deal. Can you, like, get hit by the... Oh! Oh my. Did. Oh my. Did. Please tell me. Okay. Whew. All right, we're not too far. Let's get this son of a bitch on the move, shall we? Okay, so uh
all right that's the bridge right there so we're just gonna cruise so in back to the whole sim discussion you can get kilted by a rail car it is obvious that shit is no joke you know that's uh that's pretty wild I mean, it kind of reminded me of the, you guys seen the, or read about the thing in Mexico with the freaking CP locomotive, the steam engine, and the lady. Like, we just, that just happened. You know, this is one of those games, Graham, like, the, you know, you mentioned that. This is one of those games, though, where it's like you don't know, you know, and it's like you got to just kind of. Figure it out the hard way, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I was thinking maybe that train was going to stop, the dude's going to hop out and fire back at me. Um, you know, the authorities show up and haul my ass off to Gulag. Alright, that is Tran. Oh, we got a radio over here, dude. I can't mess with that DMCA bullshit. Alright, we just got the green boy. That didn't take any time at all, did it? We didn't even have to stop. Do we need the... The gin field on? I feel like we do. All right, so if I recall, we have to blow this bridge up. Or maybe it's the next bridge from the prologue. But beyond here, I'm excited because I, I don't know what the future holds. But I will say as well, like, it is nice that the developer offered multiple variations of the game. So if you're not into the, you know, having fun, drinking beer, shooting trains... You can just do sim mode, you know. Alright, uh, Nikita's waiting on the other side of the bridge to take the package explosive from him. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. Whoa! So, like, there's like an auto cut out if you apply too much power, I guess. We're coming, Nikita! Seems super narrow. Alright, so, and then, like, so we blow this bridge up. How are we going to be going back the other way, you know? It's a bit confusing. Alright, how... That's pretty close. I don't know meters, bro. I deal with feet. What's, a meter is like three feet, right? This bitch ain't going to derail, is it? Yeah, those curves are like too sharp, man. They should have stretched that kind of stuff out. There's Nikita! Hold on, brother! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The train keeps going. Now I go down here. We go further and further from Nikita. He say, boss, man in train went too far. He no take bomb. We'll just, uh... Boy, that's gonna be a long walk. Open the door, bro! Dude, what is going on? It won't let me open the friggin' door. There we go. Open the door. There we go. We have to close it. 
I'm hitting E. There we go. Alright, so now we have a marathon. Gotta go back to Nikita. We went a bit farther than I would have liked. Hopefully the train... Holy crap, it is negative 21 degrees. I, I cannot even fathom negative 21 degrees. Coldest temperature I've ever been in in my entire life was like 10 degrees. And that shit was unbearable. Like my facial hairs were freezing from the the heat and moisture coming out of my nostrils and my mouth. The only thing I remember is like my kneecaps being really cold. And, and the flesh around your knee like your thigh muscle. I don't know. It was weird though. And it, we had, oh god. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Look at me. Haha. <laughs> Don't do that at home, kids. And adults. Yeah, it's weird. The rolling sound, like, there's sound there, but it just sounds really muted. Like, it have that rushing air sound. Like, but it's just all really muted. Alright, what's up, Nikita? It's like somebody diarrhea on his face. Yeah, this guy's psychotic. He's talking about beautiful colors in the sky and things like that from blowing up. That's great. Give me the bomb. This is great. Explosive out of the inventory. Okay. Deliver. Okay. Deliver the wagons. Okay. So what do I do with the bomb? You have blow up your train. You have 15 minutes. Do this. Bro, not the bridge back there. It is the bridge back there. Okay, so this uh, quickly became Siberian Walking Simulator. Okay. And we got 15 minutes to do this. Like, just no disregard for human life. These poor people going to and from their daily, you know, things that they do on these commuter trains. So now going to be stopped. And have nowhere to go because I'm blowing a bridge up for no reason. In Madarasha, train don't need rails, says no dose. <laughs> Takes 10 zip codes to stop that train. Yeah. Well, to be fair, it was downhill and I went to the first application, but. Okay, here we are. Bomba. Big Bomba. Hey, what's the package? I want to know what's in the package. Oh, yes, we have bomb. Look at the bomb. One last look at Frozen River. Yes. Okay, now we blow bridge. Place bomb. Oh, that is not a lot of time. I mean, like, two or three minutes would have been pretty nice about 30 seconds I need like one of those off-road one wheels in this bitch with the chunky tires okay We only got a hundred dollars for that. That is like major crimes. Packages, blueprints for making bombs. Give it to Boris, Nikita's training. He's waiting for him in the station. You have one hour, 15 minutes to do this. You shut your face. Dude, that was like a $20,000 job. At least in America. I don't know about Russia. 100 bucks, man. Jeez. Coach says, I've been in the negative teens in Fahrenheit, but never negative 20s. I feel like once you get below a certain number, like it's just it's the the suck zone. Didn't 
sound right. Like, like, can it actually, like, does it feel any different? Concacha, what's up? What's up? Slow down to 40, okay? We did that. We, we have, we have done that. You are approaching a dangerous place. What does that mean? Like, gun violence? Little kids with knives? Does it just mean like a, like a yard? A junction? Carrier pigeons with tiny bombs strapped to their feet? Disease spreading mosquitoes? Like, what is, what does the dangerous section mean? We're still just doing beginning of a dangerous place. What does that mean? I don't, I don't remember that uh, from the prologue. The gulag. I don't know. You, I, I'm kind of curious if that can happen. You know, if you can just like I've I've seen it. I've done it. I've I've lived that wild life. I went around chainsawing people, and nothing happened. And but that was in the prologue, so I don't know if. You know, does the Kajubia come and take you? You know? Take your whole damn family? Alright, so we're getting rid of the wagons up yonder. Curious to see as well how this is going to work as far as continuing on with operation. Are there like passenger miss missions? Is it just freight? And I'm all, I'm going off of the big. Now that says end dangerous place. Oh, it's, it's telling us about it. <laughs> Indicate the boundaries of dangerous section where trains must travel at reduced speed. This may include places such as construction sites, limited visibility. Okay, well, I got none of that kind of vibe back there, to be honest. <laughs> All right, stop train before you pass the switch. Conk says, "Need what only from fermented garbage." Is that even a thing? Is that real? I mean, essentially, I guess you could make a, a liquor out of anything that ferments, right? As long as it produces some kind of sugar. The frames are not very spicy in here. You can't see it on the screen, but I got the steam counter on. It's down to like 30 now. Definitely got some laggage, laggages. All right, we got to stop in 420 meters. It'd also be interesting to know like the, the stuff you're hauling. So these cars we got coal gondolas, whatever the hell they are, what your weight is, how many there are, to try and figure out what your your stopping power is, you know? Instead of having to be terrified to go too fast, you know what I mean? Is this 200 meters? Uh, that's coming down a little too quick. Let's take it back up there. This switch or the other switch? The other switch. Okay, cool. cool, 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 cool. Gradients. Are, yeah, the gradients are the biggest thing. That's what I was saying earlier, Kankach. The gradients are the biggest thing for me. It just, it seems very goofy. You know what I mean? Shit, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do service. Okay, I think I could just stop anywhere. And then go hit that switch, right? We just kind of cruise up. We creeping on the block, son. There we go. Yeah, we just got to throw that bad boy. Bad boy. 
No doubt it says Russian minimum wage is a bitch. Oh, the, the hundred bucks for blowing up a bridge? Yeah, that was... I need to talk to my local congressman about that one. That is not fair. All right, our hangover is getting pretty high. The hell was that? Switch is locked. So you can't. Is this still like the tutorial? I was going to say that, you know, the switch and switch operation look pretty legit. That's a big ass train station, man. Novosibirsk. 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 Glavnia. Dude, it gets cold in here quick with that window open. Alright, it is all unknown land before me now. You guys might know. I don't know. I have, I have no clue what happens beyond this. In the prologue, you got here. Or you went inside and gave Boris his package. And that was it. Tried multiplayer ships at sea yet? Yeah, me and um, me and Conk here did it. It's it's just kind of pointless right now because you don't you can't work together. You know, you just see other people's boat. It's kind of dumb. I can't believe they released it like that without any kind of you know interaction. It's just, it's just weird. Like I feel like it would have made more sense if they had made just like a persistent open world server right that anybody can join kind of like sim rail and you just get in and go do your jobs or go fishing or whatever and you see other people tooting around on their boats and stuff like that would have been cool as hell why didn't they do that because as of like now there's you don't see any ai uh boats it's it's super weird All right, let's see if we can get it right up, John. 15 kmh. Oh man, there's trains. There's trains everywhere. There's a lot of trains. Mind you, they're the same. But uh, I'll give it that, man. Oh, we got some mixed freight hotness. Now, does this mean the whole train? For the train cars in the red zone. Go outside, disconnect railway wagons using a couple of lever. Couple of lever. There we go. Back outside. The freezing ass cold. Negative 22. <laughs> that is insane, dude. Couplers look pretty good. Like the model. Can I not? Son of a bitch, let me over! Help! Help! Oh, there's one on the side too. That makes sense, of course. That was a jam. Alright, shit's been disconnected. We gotta take Boris's package. I'm coming, Boris. Do not leave. I have bomb making material. The son of bitch. That thing is interesting looking. Is that like the blue train? Just not blue? <sighs> Function over form, baby. Hey, what's up, bud? Misses. This is a very dangerous way to cross a massive train yard. 
I must say. Ski! All right, we got a shop here. Tell me they got a bar. I'm going to spend all 640 monetary units on alcohols. I'm going to get some white claws. Some twisted teas. Uh, we going right here. Yes. Boris! Hey, hello! I have bomb. It's okay. Did I give him the package? Okay, there we go. That's kind of annoying how you gotta... Alright. Enough goofing around. Did he say Bar Mitzvah? He said Bar Mitzvah. So we've made $225. Straight Neanderthal back there, dude. See those eyes? Kaka. Kaka. Kak. Ah. All right. Um, Neanderthal as well. Okay, can we go back? To, can we like rob it? You know? All right, so we got to pick up an envelope. It said something about counterfeit money. I mean, I just want to come in here and drive trains for the motherland, and they got me doing all these crazy jobs trying to get me in troubles. Trying to get me arrested, tids. Uh, hanger? What the? What's in a hanger? You can fly airplane? I mean, they went all out modeling this, you know, like they don't have the best looking textures <laughs> and the lighting in the best. is a drunk ass dude on the ground having a grand old time. Conk says in Soviet Russia, a roller coaster is a railroad. Oh, we can buy some more shizzle, my dogs. Ho! Oh, Dr. Sausage. I'm sorry? I'll take him. Thank you for your sausage. Your sausage is heavenly. Yeah, why you think I'm here, buddy? Of course I want to buy some shit. Pushy. It's like a car salesman over here. Parsley? Isn't parsley like the green stuff you put a, as like a garnishment on a dish? Whatever, we'll buy them. Give me the parsleys. Apple, yeah, why not? Cabbage, for sure. Brains, absolutely. We don't need another chainsaw. Oh, we got one guy. We'll buy a couple more beers. Matter of fact, we'll go ahead and get tips. Hey, where's the walk guy? Right here. Boom. Let's get it. Let's get it, dog. Let's get it, dog. Dipping on some tither. So does it? So you don't drink like the whole thing? Oh, hangover completely gone now. Yeah, so so the bottle lasts. You don't just like chug the whole damn thing. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's see some apples. And let's drink some milks. There we go. We're good. A little vodka, an apple, some milk. Brand new man. What's that? Chewing tobacco? What is that noise, by the way? Is that like the world's longest train going by? Celery, we're good on that. What you got, homie? Pears, apples, horse bananas. 
What you got? Some breads? Yeah, we'll buy one. Flashlights? Do you have Marlboro Red? Onions, carrots, broccoli. Alright, is that it? It's, uh, it's a shame there was no contraband. Can we like go over there and stuff? Yeah, dude. You guys talking about <laughs> roller coasters. Last time I rode a roller coaster. I, uh, I think I injured my neck if I'm honest my uh, my shit has never been the same it was um, it was some roller coaster at uh, Universal Studios like the new one it used to be like an Aerosmith thing. no 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 I'm thinking of something else it's the one like right when you walk in to the left if you guys ever been to Universal in Orlando that shit messed me up though big time No, no, it says I mean, I think they meant parsnip. <laughs> they didn't say parsley. That's kind of kind of weird. All right, pick picking up the envelope from Ivan. What is that noise? Is that gunfire? And so, like, what do I do here? Do I, do I have another job? What do I do now? Where's Ivan? Is it the hangar? Don't tell me I gotta walk all the way down to that son bitch. All right, back in train. All right. Okay, uh, we have more job. So it's like you just hop in the train and it gives you another J.O. Bizzle. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we go. We go. All right, we're not hooked up to these cars back here anymore, right? Negative. Milk and vodka. I know it sounds delicious. It's like a white Russian. Dude, I could, I could pound some white Russians, man. Woo! So good. She's too rich, though. You know. All right, so we're getting these weird-looking kind of box cars. I guess we just keep like going that way. Like, are we going back? Hanger. Is that the hanger? Pick up the envelope from Ivan. Where is Ivan? See, there's no, um... There's no, like, thing that says where the Simon dude is. Alright, so we gotta run past this. Flip it, and then run back. Don't go out on the other track! Ah. I think I just heard Abby bark. So there's either a masked murderer that is in the house or she needs to go outside. Should probably attend to her needs. Alright, we'll do it like that. Got blammies.
whiplash be crazy now dude i remember you talking about wooden roller coasters as well there was one in uh in six flags in or near atlanta and i i don't even know if it's around anymore six flags even a thing anymore but they had an old wooden coaster called the Delonica Mine Train, and that son of a bitch was crazy. You were sitting in a literal, like, vegetable box. Doing some, I mean, you weren't doing loops and stuff like that, but it was, uh, it was insane, man. Alright, backing up. Alright, so we gotta stay under five, like I said in the toot. The Oriole of Toots. Where's this Ivan dude? Where is crazy Ivan? Alright, we should probably slow it down a bit. Yeah, we'll, we'll slow down. We don't want to be breaking shit, dog. Oh, you can lean out the window. I forgot about that. Is that... Can you look backwards? Yeah, but you can't see shit. Alright, we just cruise. Wait a minute. 147. It's getting dark. Uh, see, that's trippy, because it's just... It's like in the very middle of the consist. It's not like at the end. Alright, we're going uh, an appropriate speed. Alright, so we're going to Nova Vestoshni. 22 kilometers. Mafia shop. Forester's Lodge. Alright! Shit about to get crazy! So what's kind of weird about the whole, like, hooking up to your cars? Is it, it you don't do anything with the brakes. It's like the brakes are automatic or something. So that's a bit weird. Yeah, yeah, I've been to, uh, Kelby, what's up, dude? I've been to, um, Disney. It's been, a, it's been a long time. I think the last park I went to was Epcot a couple years back. But yeah, dude, it, it, I try to avoid the Orlando area as a whole, um, overall. Especially the parks area, if I can't help it. Alright, released. We'll actually throw that on a skosh. Charging puppies up. Alright, so like, how do you, that's why a map would be useful. I guess we're still going that way, like, we're just continuing going. I don't know what this Ivan dude is, though. All right, we creeping. Get that creep on, and I guess we're always on the appropriate track as well. So, I mean, you got to move over and back up onto like cars and stuff like that. But as far as your route, dude, like, what what do we do if this son of a bitch stops? Cause it's gonna stop. I think we're screwed. What's called a spad in Mother Russia? Spiet. Kong says, Comrade, you have hurt Motherland by blocking our glorious railways off to Gulag. Fuck, oh, dude. What do we do? What do we do, comrades?
I don't see any signs up there, so that's what kind of sucks about the weird nature of the way these tracks are in the game. I don't see any sign up there. Well, there's something right there. I don't know why, like, me moving my head in real life is going to help me see that. That just might be like a mile marker. Gotta say, get out and use shift R to push it forward, right? Like, uh... That's gotta be something there, right? What the hell is that? Oh my god, dude. We're so screwed. Shift R. Yeah, that'd be nice. Rail, some railroaderisms. Probably help clip more stuff. Yeah, I mean, I could go back through and clip stuff too, but I forget where things are, and it's just... Is it rolling backwards? And Twitch doesn't save clips now. It does this stupid thing where it will automatically delete a, a clip after... A certain amount of time or something unless you go in and like manually save it I believe dude we are so screwed this is no buenos um It's, it's still got the thing like it's telling me to turn them off, but we're moving. What? So is it just like a, a cheesy gameplay mechanic? To try and like trick you into thinking there's an actual neutral section? Yeah, we need to power this bitch up big time. This... That sign up there might be where it means it actually starts. I can't see shit now either though. scared me I must admit what just happened coach says usually your community generates all the most embarrassing content <laughs> of course naturally uh, okay so that's the end all right what did we just do to this Poor machine. Oh boy, we done fucked some stuff up, my dudes. Heater's broken. Spinometer's broken again. Attention control, but that's great. That's broken. Why did this shit go bad? Oh, bro. Oh, bros. Chicos, my chicos and chicos. What have thou done? Oh. Oh. Anyway, let's get drunk. Oh no. Oh no.
happens if you drink too much you just oh our we our freaking headlights are broken too man oh cool it's a tower over here what's going on boss oh what's up with you me nothing just driving trains wasted just chilling <laughs> It was like a little, it's like a baby gate in front of the stairs, so you can't go up there. I feel like it does something to your movement too. Like I kind of slid right there. And the drunkness seems to last a while. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is so weird. Get us as Ivan Ivan Kutur Kukov Kukov. There goes the friggin' safety systems again. I wonder if I can just turn them off. Cause that some bitch is gonna whistle. Forever. So I, I don't think the safety thing actually does anything. It just whistles like, you know, normally something like that. If you don't respond, it's going to shut the train down. Right. Coach says, is there simulated vomiting? I don't know. But man, thinking back like, God, it's insane how long ago the initial trailer was for this. What was that like four years ago? And it looked wild. It looked wild. I mean, there was like, you're just going down a track, it was nighttime, it was snowy as hell. All of a sudden, something like shatters all the windows. You gotta get outside and repair, and then all these like wolves come at you, and you like chainsaw them. Like, I don't even know if that's still, a, you know, like a thing or not. I hope it is. All right, I hope they have a uh, engine shed here. Cause uh, I'm still definitely very drunk. And I cannot operate this train dude stop man <laughs> I can't operate this train with that thing constantly going off you know all right did we get in there or does it want the whole train in we'll see I feel like it would give me a prompt So it somehow got warmer in the cab. It went up. All right. We got money. Money. Kelby says we're all going to die to death for sure. For sure. All right, let's cross these massive rail yard drunk as shit, comrade. Aha! Coach just kill me before I hurl all over my console. Can't believe they actually bothered programming drunkenness into this. Yeah, it's a lot of, oh look. Oh, what the? I need cover.
This shit just got real, guys. What the hell? I was just... Oh... Uh, that's, that's, uh, that's an official person. Thanks for the gun. I was just selling, I mean, it's Russia. You can't just shoot guns in the air. It was just a celebratory pop. Hey, they drew on me. It's some Wild West shit, all right? I was, I was defending myself. <laughs> Holy shit. I did not expect that. Hundred bucks. Bust a rusty cap. Comrade asses. Hawaii. So America. I don't I don't think so. I mean So I just like killed these two officials and I'm just kinda walking around now like alright, just gonna go about whatever I was already doing now. Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Am I just... Am I just an an anti-social now? Like... Hey guys, Are we cool now? Ivan, I gotta, I gotta get an envelope from you. So if you could just not shoot me. Hey, Are we cool now? Are we good? Oh no, I already stole two of those off your buddy. Thanks though. Жизнь такая странная штука. Живешь себе, пытаешься все принять, а в итоге оказывается, что тебе всего не хватает. Это как с деньгами. Кто-то их заработал, кто-то им радовался, а теперь кто-то другой их потратит. Пришло время покинуть этот бар и пустить в оборот эти фальшивые деньги. Это рискованная затея, но именно это меня и заводит. Бороться he said risk turns him on with fake money. I am like shit just got so heavy all of a sudden. I mean, I was shot upon. I walked in this nice establishment and was shot upon again. And it's just like nothing ever happened. Uh, we'll buy some vodka. No, not drink it. Dude, we just got unwasted. And we're waiting. All right, so we got to go sell or give the fake money to this dude, the counterfeitage. And we got to repair that damn train, guys. I mean, I think it's impossible to operate now. Посмотри на них красивый классический дизайн современные ручки управления, которые словно приглашают погрузиться в волшебство звука. Благодаря этим устройствам музыка получает новые измерения. Каждый звук приобретает теплоту. It sounds like Morty. Do you sound like Morty? Kinda. Okay, cassette players one thousand dollars. What? Why would I buy a shitload of cassette players? Oh, so that's just part of the mission. Okay. Спасибо. Здесь редко можно встретить такого хорошего клиента, как ты. That was definitely real money, by the way, sir. Um, enjoy. Kong said you had the gun in your hands earlier. It's probably why. So if you just run around with a gun in your hands in public, people don't like that. All you snowrunner chads out there, this is a loaf. Hey. Oh, shit. 
Okay, now we're not drunk. It just we just had to stare in his eyes for a moment and that made us undrunk. Okay. So now we gotta sell selling sell cassette player. Is there any food in there? Sell cassette player to Alexander. Now is that the guy that we got the fake money from? Why couldn't he just do it? Oh, there's a downstairs, eh? Or wait, no. We were in there. So there's an upstairs. What the fuck was that all about? This is, this is so weird yet pleasing. I don't know how to describe it. Kojo says shot upon, at least not shat upon. Oh, are these. Oh! Whoa! What the fuck, man? Running back there <laughs> to clear it. This is ridiculous, man. Shut up! Now, I wonder... try binding some of the keys but you're not gonna be able to do it like train sim style because of the the movement of your character you know as far as reverser and power and shit like that all right we are going fast and can you commandeer another like train set you know or if it's just the same you know you're just kind of assigned the same thing that you got to use over and over. All right, Inya Vostoshnaya. Three and a half kilometers. This cat doesn't look like he's hardly moving. He's got baby train. Just happened. We got power. I don't know how fast we're going. We're rocking though, so something tells me that maybe that's like the precursor to the locomotive derailing. We got busted headlights. Oh, we gotta slow down. I'm trying to see if it's like rocking exterior or if it's just a camera thing. Why are we slowing down? Come to think of it, I don't... Oh! 